Hello guys, are you on a low-end device? I have been trying to learn Flutter, but it has not been easy. You try to install Android Studio, you try to install VS Code, but then everything just keeps crashing, everything just keeps lagging on your laptop. In today's video, I will be showing you how you can code, write Flutter code, even on a very low-end device. And if you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel. And without wasting time, let's get started. So there's this new website called Zapron. Is an online that and Flutter sandbox for sharing and embedding examples. And you can see here, you don't need a laptop does not need to be a very high-end device, two gig RAM, as long as it is able to run a browser perfectly. And it just depends on your internet connection. I'll be showing you how to create this type of code in a minute. But let's look at the features. You can see down here, you can use any pub.dev package here. It has live previews, can see how your code looks, even though it's only on the web, you cannot preview how it looks on a mobile app. But you are seeing, seeing what you are building in real time. You can add assets, and I tried to add pictures while working on this, but it was having issues, but there's work around on that. You want to add pictures when coding online, you can just use your network image, upload your pictures somewhere, and just call the URL. From there, that's an analyzer and an integrated logs. And enough of the talk, let's get started. So, I've logged in with my GitHub, and if you press get started, I'm in a place with very slow internet connection. So, it will be slow while running, but don't worry, I'll try to cut that out. You can see you can create a Dask project, a Flutter project, HTTP request, Firebase, and even Flame. And you know, Flame is an is a game engine in Flutter. So I'll just choose to create a new Flutter project. And we have this here. We just have the basic Flutter project code here. And let's just you can see so fast it has finished loading already. This is just what we have. If you click here, or let me show you the code. If you click on this, you get zap. And that's what we have here. Unpressed print zap. If you change anything here, zap run or flutter app mobile. And you press control S. It just loads very fast. As long as you have a very fast internet connection, you see the changes immediately. And see it here, flutter app mobile. And if I click this button, you see zap. Run. Uh, well, let's see if you want to add a new package here. Here we can see our list of files and folders. Here we'll see our dependencies. You can just go into your postpeg.yaml file. Postpeg.yaml file. And then you add your dependency here. So I want to use the Google Fonts. And then run pop get. Pub get is complete already. So what I just have to do is input this and see no problems, logs are safe and everything. So input import it I mean import the package Google font. Is it not done installing? Let's wait for a while. It's supposed to auto complete it for me. Pop get again, okay. Package Google Font slash Google Font. Yeah, we have it here. So just add your semicolon, and you can see we is everything is real time because we just added it. You can see unused imports. Over here, so in the text, hello world, I'll just style it style and then Google fonts dot okay, okay, so here we have it Google fonts dot. So you choose the font you want, I'll be choosing this ABZ and no other style 
applied so if i control s and it starts building we can see the font style has changed well, let me just apply a change which will be very visible to see google fonts dot let's use something like this and now we can see this change very visible you can see that everything changed so this is just a platform where you can write your flutter code in the cloud and this will be very useful especially to users that want to learn flutter or have a very low end device and right here you can see all your environments the flutter version the dart version you can even download your code as a zip file to share to people or to upload on github you can embed this in any website of your choice and for this there are a lot of things going on here and this is just the project is getting new features develop the developers are working and they are doing a very fantastic job for the floater community so if you enjoyed this video kindly subscribe if you want to try this on your laptop the website is called zap run and i'll see you in the next lesson